So, nach einem etwas tiefergehenden Gespräch mit dem Sohn des Präsidenten gibt es wieder einige Neuigkeiten und Berichte. Prisoners Riot in Until Rock Prison. Yesterday about around 11 a.m. a prison riot started in Ward C of the Until Rock Prison, which was eventually suppressed. Ward C is generally used for keeping political prisoners. And the riot started when a warden was killed by a bluish political prisoner. Four guards and 21 prisoners died. 134 were injured. <laughs> Hm. Wir haben noch einen Bericht hier. USP Report on Reforms. Many members of the USP, led by Albin Clevin and the reformist wing of the party, clarified their demands from the government and the party congress. For the upcoming constitutional reform, Albin Clevin stated that without ministry reforms, they won't be able to stand behind the new Reform Package. Also die wollen, dass das Parlament die Minister, MinisterInnen ähm, benennen kann. Na gut. Was schreibt die Zeitung? Attacker opened fire on protesters. 17 dead. A man opened fire in Vesort City Center during a protest march organized by the Communist Party of Sortland against the murder of Bernard Sirkas. The, attack used a mil the attacker used a military-grade machine gun dated 1929, which is suspected to be part of the inventory of the Swedish armed forces. The attacker killed himself right after shooting at 25 people, killing 16. He took out the weapon from the newsstand at the square, brandished it and yelled, Come, I will give you freedom, one witness said. The highly charged word freedom was previously associated with bluish separatists, but has been used widely during the previous months of protest against the murder of Bernard Sirkas. Minister of the Interior Lilia Graf said that she had spoken to the chief of Wizard Police and asked him to take strict actions. The government will not tolerate any such incidents and the perpetrators will not be spared. Gelsort FC gegen Andrika FC Derby postponed due to protests. One of the most anticipated matches between Gelsort and Andrika was postponed because of the intense protests in the city of Andrika. The league has issued the following statement regarding the situation. Due to safety reasons, the players are compromised during this time of trouble. We have decided to postpone the game. Moreover, we stand in solidarity with the fans, our players and the people of Anrika in the fight against injustice. Mayor Curtin Lesty has also made a statement. It is tragic, a tragic day of Sortland, where the president himself refused to act in the face of communism. <laughs> It is said that inaction breeds doubt and fear. Thus, I fear that the spread of communism has sown deeper inside the heart of the nation than we thought. However, I and the people of Anrika will never stop fighting for the soul <laughs> for our great country. Ja, aber da, warte mal, Anrika ist hier. Ich glaube, das war mit, das mit dem, mit dem äh, wo das schon mal um den Bürgermeister ging. So, undemocratic elections of Zortland. Zortland has an electrical threshold of 10%. This means any political parties that are under 10% of the vote can't even enter the assembly. This is the very reason why the United Zortland Party holds 52% of the seats in the assembly today. It is also the reason why the largest ethnic minority of Zortland is non-existence in Zordish politics. The last election have shown that the pro bludish Workers Party, what is so? Workers Party of Pudia, yeah, had an enormous voter base of just above 9%, but it still failed to meet the 10% threshold and couldn't enter politics. Similarly, the CPS has won around, and as the uh, Communist Partei Zotlands, uh, has won around 8% of the general vote, but was eliminated. This means that millions of voters are not represented in our current government. Moreover, this has benefited the USP the most and gave them the lawmaking power. 
The undemocratic threshold needs to be lowered down so that there is true representation in the assembly and a true representation of all voices. No one can call Zotland a democracy without a decrease or a constitutional proposal that does not include such change. Democratic. So sieht's aus. Es gibt was zu tun hier drüben. Präsidentenbesuch. Uh, Narbel. I was traveling the snow-covered city of Narbel in the Nargis region for the Rural Development Forum organized by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education. The mountainous city of Narbel had gritty tones to it. It's mostly regarded as one of the poorer cities in Zotland. Its people were hardy and wary. Even after the discovery of natural resources in the area, years of neglect by the central government were apparent on the buildings and the general infrastructure. Natural resources, namely gas and oil, were now under the control of Gazom, Gazom which elevated the corporation to a place of power. Um, one of the largest corporations in Zorten that extract natural gas. gas. Initially, several investors from United Contana had started the company as a joint venture with Swedish businessmen, but the political instability made them pull out. This left the board entirely to Swedish citizens. The primary area of operations of the corporations around the Nabel area, where a large amount of untapped natural gas resources still lie. The investment and Excavation turned Nabel from a town to a city, allowing employment of all sorts. My task in this forum was mainly symbolic. Fake smiles and handshakes with oil barons, meeting with local politicians, but most importantly of all to make sure that Nabel does not feel like it was forgotten by the government. Oh, we have uh, ein Fortschritt beim Highway bekommen. The scenery so far, however, was a reflection of Nabel's neglect. Main roads to the city were not maintained well. There were many bumps and empty, discolored spots in the asphalt. Navigating and swerving to avoid the inconveniences, our motorcade finally started nearing the city. As, is my diff as if my discomfort from the bumpy ride was apparent to him, Serge wrote down the partition window. We will be arriving at Hotel West in a few minutes, sir. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me know. Anytime, it's my duty. After a moment, Serge started to smile under his moustache. What's that smile for? Sir, I just want to say it has been great these last two months. As you know, my wife Susan recently gave birth to our son, sir. And now my daughter just started at a very good high school in Holzort. Also, zwei Monate. Zwei Monate, da hast es. Um, get ready. Der gute alte Serge. Ja, ja. I'm happy for you. I appreciate it, sir, truly. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to afford a good private school if she scores less in the entrance exams, but I shouldn't have made my insecurity get to me. Erica outsmarts me all the time. I'm very proud to have a daughter like her. Then she has to from her mother. Um. I also hope that Diana will grow to be like her mother someday. I'm sure she will, sir. After all, she is the daughter of a lion and a lioness. My daughter looks up to the first lady for inspiration and it's not just limited to my daughter, sir. She is an inspiration for almost all women in the country, but at the same time, it must be hard for the first lady as well. All this attention adjusting to this new high profile life and a husband that has great responsibilities. Um, it's hard for both of us. It must be, sir. We sometimes forget the important people 
alive between all the responsibilities and rush. You know, those we care for. I agree. Serge continued after a moment of silence. Have I told you, sir? We named my son George. Georg. That's kind of E am Ende. Georg. Uh, the doctor said he is very healthy and thankfully so is my wife. Hmm. Uh, I hope the hospital has good service. Oder Susanne. Susanne, Susanne. Ich hoffe, sie sind gut versorgt. Normally we would have been treated in one of the suburb hospitals, but thanks to the special coverage of the presidential staff, we were transferred to Emerald State Hospital. We need to increase the quality of the services for all. That sounds like a tough issue to solve. Serge sighed. I already started thinking about their university education, especially Erica. I want to send her to a good private school. But the current state of the economy isn't going to be hard for us. Yes? It's going to be hard for us. The fehlen irgendwie mal hier so Satzzeichen ab und zu zwischendurch. It's hard for everyone. We will fix the economy one way or another. If anyone can, that's you, Mr. President. The car hit a major pothole and a bump which lifted us up in the seats for a second. Wir müssen in die Infrastruktur. Geht's dir gut? Yes, sir. I hope the car is fine too. The motorcade began approaching the hotel. The Hotel West was supposed, supposedly the best hotel in Nabel. The large 25-story main building was undoubtedly one of the taller and more expensive buildings in the city. It towered over the nearby slums and had been a target for protests when it was first built. A crowd was gathered in front of the hotel with the welcoming committee at its center. As we approached the red carpeted entrance, I could see the mayor of Nabel and his top eight. Serge got out of the car and opened the door. He bowed his head respectfully and gestured towards the entrance. See you later, Serge. As soon as I left the vehicle, the fresh air of Nabel filled my lungs. Almost immediately, everyone present in the crowd flocked over to me with an excessive display of courtesy, smiles and handshakes when I donned the mask of a politician. A mask that I was very used to. Okay, up geht's. Es gibt neue Berichte. Young Sword suspected of terror attack. At approximately 16.46 on Monday, a terror attack occurred in the Vesert city center during a rally by the left-wing CPS, Communist Party. The attacker suspected to be working with Young Swords or another organization connected to them opened fire with an automatic rifle on the protesting civilians. Seven people were killed, including the attacker who shot himself afterwards. Ah ja, das haben wir ja schon in der Zeitung gelesen. Es sei denn, er hat noch mal jemand genau 16 Menschen erschossen. Franz Richter, leader of the PFJP, recently outlined their demands for the reform package. He declared that without the implementation of term limits and limited decrees, it would be very difficult for him and his party to stand behind the package. Und es gibt wieder neue Nachrichten. Protests appear karma. Kriegen wir äh, als Reaktion darauf, dass da Leute erschossen werden? Ich weiß nicht. Um, as protests continue nationwide, tension eases in some cities. Still, several major cities, including Dyer and Lackhaven, did have some scattered reports of violence 
On Monday night, tens of thousands in Dea, Zika's hometown, walked in a memorial march. Though police moved in on the thinning crowd as the evening settled, making arrest. Authorities said demonstrators began throwing rocks and ignored orders to disperse. Warum ist die Polizei denn überhaupt da reingegangen? The protests in Holzort and in most other major cities appeared calmer, with fewer clashes between civilians and police. Authorities have made at least 9,800 arrests related to the protests, according to a tally from the state press. Ja, I, puh. Mal eben 10.000 Leute da eingebuchtet. Okay. Okay. A shocking and misogynist rally. Every day we are appalled by how deep the roots of misogyny goes in our country. We are appalled again when yesterday, during a protest by the Swedish League of Women, counter-protesters showed up to disrupt the peaceful rally. In the resulting scuffle between the police, the protesters and the mob, many were arrested from both sides. Road to change is filled with real obstacles, but we said it before, we can do it. Uh, ah, sie fordern, dass Taki in Seoul zur Rechenschaft gezogen wird. Seoul needs to answer for his crimes. Looking at the history of everything wrong in our country, there is only one figure that everyone points at. Taki in Seoul. He has devolved our country into something much worse than what it was before. He has committed crimes against humanity. We all still remember the Islam incident and the wounds that have been inflicted on the hundreds of thousands of people with bluish ethnic background. We have been calling for this trial and we believe it is time that this government opens the way for a fair trial by removing the undemocratic and absurd laws that protect them. It is time that the constitution of 1929 that protects Seoul be changed. People are still waiting for a fair trial, for justice to be served and for their questions to be answered. <coughs> Und äh, die Gewerkschaft marschiert ebenfalls. A large group of labor union members gathered around the city of Valgen to protest against the poor conditions of worker rights in Sortland. People could be seen holding signs, pleading for accountability and basic rights in corporate work environments. Dozens of Taurus workers were in the midst of the crowd. One worker was heard saying, I know the law gives us nothing on paper. Is this the reality we choose to accept? Others pointed out that the country is relying on the workers to stop the recession, but doesn't give them anything back. Okay. Look at how great the rights are in Valksland. Minimum wage, overtime pay and safe working regulations. The time for real workers reform is now one voice demanded with frustration we had the opportunity to interview some open-minded managers from corporations they relate that the companies have little to no oversight it's hard to disagree that the time for labor reform is long due albin clevin from the reformist wing uh, of the usp has seen the potential and announced that work has begun to explore what can be achieved. Will President Rain listen to the demands? Time will tell. Oh, hallo. Oha, Privatisierung der Bildung. <clears throat> Our editorial team immediately analyzed the SIPA report recently revealed to assess the standards of education. We were curious to see how the policies of the last decade have begun changing the performance metrics. Lesbia specifically stood out with a jump of six positions forward to fifth out of 68. After a research and analysis collaboration with the vice president of Magnus Cartus and the SMEA chapter leader of OMEC, we gained critical at uh, these ganzen Abkürzungen, man, ne? Critical insights of this diese Wirtschafts, der Wirtschaftsverband. Uh, Wirtschaftsorganisation. Um, critical insights to how Lesbia increased its education quality it boils down to two major factors. One is the privatization efforts led by Prime Minister Alvarez 
that led to most schools in wealthier neighborhoods, 1404 to be precise, to be privatized. This lifted a significant budget burden off the state because the wealthy paid for a great education for their kids and were still taxed reasonably in order to divert funds to state schools elsewhere. The second major factor was the allowance of minor curricular changes for private institutions that led to major improvements in the student participation, teacher happiness and boosted the performance of the institutions. All in all, the improvements to the system and the massive amounts of 34 billion lira it raised for Lesbia made it a lucrative option. Sorten desperately needs more capital to tackle the recession. And when education is privatized, foreign capital will also aid in establishing quality schools. The vice president of Magnus Cartus pointed out that the SIPA report doesn't include access to education metrics and that Lesbia has inequality problems. The statement that has been proven with any statistical research from the OMEC, which is why it must be taken with a pinch of salt. <laughs> yeah, na klar. The Rain administration could be practical about this term. Hmm. Ja, dass die privatisieren wollen, ist mir schon klar. Dann wollen wir uns doch mal mit der mit der Gesundheitsversorgung auseinandersetzen. Oder gibt es noch irgendwas vorher zu tun? Ich glaube, nein.